Hello everybody and welcome back to Terrific Tuesday. This is going to be an amazing day. We've got this video posted now. I've got the 10 featured 5 star crystals going for Dr. Doom later on and we're going to do some greater gifting crystals as well later on. But this video is going to look at whether or not greater gifting crystals are worth going for, the holiday or festive calendar and also a little oopsie by Caban when it comes to a deal. So let's delve into this mammoth video. Also for those interested in where I'm live streaming nowadays as well as when I'm going to be posting some other games and other Marvel related content, go to Rich The Man 2, link is at the top in the description down below. Hopefully see you tonight for the stream, 2100 hours GMT. Before we kick things off and get into the game as well, look at things like the holiday calendar. The main thing to mention is that I think people will ask the question, where's the gifting event? It's technically the 17th. Where's the goddamn gifting event? And the answer is, wait until later on. As stated here, it's the 17th of December at 10 a.m., which is usually 6 p.m. So from the point of releasing this video, which I don't know when, just just put in Google what time is, is 10 a.m. PST time in your type of nationalities time frame and you'll get your answer. Another thing to mention is a bit of an uh oh stinky offer that's currently in the store. And lots of people are, are kind of memeing on this, but as well at the same time just putting out a few issues with the fact that it's not the greatest. And for this forum post, actually a lot of people are coming together to talk about different things. Uh, Ice says here, there's no typo there. The, the offer was made for the whales. Imagine spending 100 uh, to pull a Groot, Iron Fist or Rocket. There's only maybe six good champions in that crystal and the majority of people that buy that deal aren't going to get those six champions. And no well is buying that unless they are illiterate. Oh yeah, there's certainly a few champions that uh, woof, don't exactly make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. They make me angry inside, especially because, let's face it, more than likely you're going to pull some of these uh, less than desirable champions. And even to put five star signature stones instead of, say, six star generic signature stones, it doesn't exactly sweeten the deal for those that maybe want to go for it. Now, Kabam, okay, snaps back. Now, Kabam, <clears throat> now, Kabam, okay, claps back with, hey, all, thank you for all your feedback. We understand that this offer is not going to appeal to everybody. The selection of champions contained in the crystal is not random though. Each champion included is a unique part of the history of Marvel Contest of Champions and has been significant to the game or community in one way or another. Can you guess why each of them were included? I can start you off with Blade. The community spread the word far and wide save for blade i think at this point if i was a business and i decided to put out something that people don't like i would go do you know what guys it only runs for 24 hours we probably won't roll out this offer ever again and when we think about doing offers like this in the future we'll maybe make it more of value to players maybe even kind of put the top champions of uh, 2019 or say the top rated champions of uh, of the last five years so you know once one for every year that we voted for i think i actually said this in a video if you get one champion for every year or you kind of vote for it and say like okay of 2015 it was magic or 2016 it was this champion 17 18 you get the idea and we have a, an offer based on that and that could have been that offer that was put out but it wasn't so it's a missed opportunity and the forum post of course is closed because it's not constructive i think take it on chin with this one and maybe review those offers when you're thinking about putting them out kabam and now we're jumping in game for what is this special calendar. Now do bear in mind all of this is free and there is and are some changes from the previous years to mention. I think the main thing is that still I've seen in the forums plenty of people criticizing the extent of what is in the greater gifting crystal in regards to say worth value and other types of things as well. Now we'll come on to some really good pulls as well from the lesser uh, gifting crystal which I'm going to open uh, now for you but there are a few changes that I do want to mention do remember last year that there was a type of Night Thrasher based event gadgets I believe that's what that event was and gadgets entered you in some sort of quest I think that the rewards over time were quite good so let's just pop these open here um, mine's not too great my three crystals uh, don't really show anything great from this uh, the five star shards the um the three stars not that's not that's not really great if i'm honest but i've seen others with better pulls as we go into the forum there's still like weird things like it doesn't actually say in that list that we just saw there that you can get a tier two but the fact is people have got them i don't know if these are photoshopped i, I don't think they are but 
the fact is it's all it's all very squiffy really okay i'm really confused because the fact is when i just did an opening there i, I popped them maybe i should span them and therefore i get more but uh, i'm missing gold uh, or like well i don't know in most cases people are getting gold but am i missing a third item is is that right oh man there's something's really up with this a lot of people are pointing this to being broken and like uh, copying command mics i don't know what's going on with this i'll have to kind of give you an update if, if um if there's any more information as i've been recording i've tried to see if i can contact people to get an idea to put it in this video but look at the moment no one's giving any answer i'm, I'm really kind of bummed about this because i'm like I'd love to get a tier 2 alpha, I really would, but obviously I've got to settle with what I, I've, I've got. Um, I shouldn't punch a gift horse in the mouth, because I am grateful that we've got some stuff, but there are some things within this calendar which I do want to kind of talk about and point out based on years of changes and stuff when it comes to rewards and progressions and, and other things like that. But yeah, uh, this, is, this is so trollish. I want that tier 2 alpha, but meh, whatever. I just want to talk about greater gifting crystals and whether or not they're of value to go for. In recent years, I've done about 20 to 30, but this year I'm a bit undecided. There is an awesome good type of rarity things that are in here. When it comes to like stuff like five star signature stones to a degree, but I know that people were asking for six star signature stones. That's just a personal thing. I like signature stones a bit more than most things. Six star shards is the most important thing for me at the moment. And tier five basic catalyst fragments, depending on the extent and the volume, that's another thing. Tier two alpha, God, that lesser greater gifting crystal is uh, it's going to be the death of me. But yeah, six star Kang, uh, look, at the end of the day, those are rarity champions. If you want to go for them, you want to go for them. There are some good things in the Great Gifting Crystal, but for the price of 300 units, it is all based on luck. It is all based on RNG. And whether or not you feel like you're going to participate in the Greater Gifting or the Gifting Crystal event, the gifting event, sorry, if you want to participate in that, then you have to really make that decision. Do you want to spend your units? Obviously, being a YouTuber that does MCOC, the fact is I do want to do a video like that. And at the same time, I'm desperate for six star shards. So my 3000 units will largely go on 10 for this particular event. But it's completely up to you. There is some value, but the risk with the 300 units is not really good for that risk if you haven't completed any content maybe this is a good time to actually do that spend your units on getting content done unless your alliance is very much particular about grinding out the event as there's still like quite a few bits of content on like we've got the uncollected trial of reed richards i've got to do a little bit more of that halls of healing we've got variant four also for those that want to get the uh, variant one done that's an option so many other bits of content still needs to be done in game so it's up to you where you spend your units and now comes the time when we talk about the calendar this special seasonal calendar and whether or not it lives up to the expectations two big changes from last year and the year before but the big change has actually been sort of rewarded with you guys working hard towards it right now here are the calendars so what i've done is i've put up here the main screen is the 2019 the current one at the moment the bottom left is the one from 2018 and the one in the bottom right is 2017 now the first thing to mention is what are those red things and those are gadgets and that was from a night thrasher event last year but the main kind of thing to point out is that there's a few things jumbled up but the values can really remain the same as you can see by the larger calendar, you've got 2,004 star shards compared with last year, where it looks like we only had 1,500. Then you've got five star shards being of 3,000 this year and 3,000 last year, so nothing has changed there. Most things seem to remain the same. One big difference is the fact of greater gifting crystals. Last year, we only had one day of them, them being given out. As opposed to 2017, where we picked up three from one day and one from another but there are some changes this year so i will just quickly whilst we've got this up here go to events you go to event quests and then with halls of heroes on epic there is on week four five available so that is where kabam have upped the ante obviously the difference is we've got to work for it which you know that's not a bad thing at the end of the day to work towards something especially with the calendar changes so theoretically this year we actually get more obviously day eight i think falls on that christmas day slot now one thing to mention as well is there doesn't seem to be any mystery gift 
as if you go to the December calendar, which is uh, going to be covered at the moment, we've uh, we've got Nihilus there as your 25th of December Christmas Day little gift. So I don't know if Kabam are going to surprise us. And I always like surprises, especially expect the unexpected when it comes to Kabam there. So let's hope there's a Christmas Day gift. But it looks like there's consistency when it comes to the Tier 2 Alpha. Also, when it comes to this year giving two Tier 1 Alphas, which is kind of helpful, especially if you want to rank up something. But let's face it, it's not the most value, valuable of uh, things that we receive in-game. But look, let's just bring it down to the main crops of what I'm trying to say here. And that is that maybe people might have wanted to see more from the Tier 4 Basic, and maybe could it have been Tier 5? Possibly, that would be nice. On a positive note, we've now got six star shards into this. Not an extensive amount, but still, I suppose, 250, 250. So my my kind of point and my feeling towards it is, I'd like to, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more in certain areas, maybe with the, the six star shards, and maybe with the tier five basic shards being a replacement for the tier four. But that's just my own personal opinion. Obviously, put in the comment section how you feel this is either good or bad. And by the way. I'm happy to have freebies, I really am, but obviously, you know, there's there's kind of things where I kind of go, oh, I'm sure people would have liked it more, or were going like, yeah, this is amazing, if then this was changed about it. But that's my thoughts, what are your thoughts? Put them in the comment section down below. And there we have it, a definite improvement on 2017, five star shards remain the same, less great gifting crystals, but more in the side event. And also the fact that maybe tier 5 basic potentially could have been in there and only 256 star shards. Your thoughts on this in the comment section and thank you very much for watching this video. Thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you later on for the massive, the mammoth 10 5 star featured. It's not mammoth really, but it's a large number of, uh, of 5 star featured crystals where I'm trying to go for Doctor Doom and then I'll be doing another video later but later on than that that will be the greater gifting crystals and uh, fingers crossed maybe pick up a six star Kang won't happen but being being kind of ever positive but mainly I, I want to see six star shards that's the only thing I really care about from that and maybe tier 5 basic and maybe tier 2 alpha those are the things I only want to see currently but thanks so much for watching check out some other content here and here and I'll see you later on bye bye for now